Good afternoon, everyone. We are here at Strikers Bowl in St. Joseph, Michigan for the PBA 50 Strikers Bowl Central Midwest Open. This is going to be your stepladder final. We've got about two minutes left of practice before our first match. First match is going to be between Tom Hess of Urbandale, or Granger, Iowa, rather, and Eugene McCune of Munster, Indiana. Eugene was our winner last week. And I think he's just coming off the, the win on the national tour as well. tournament this week was conducted on the Mark Roth 42 foot pattern. Lane 21 and 22, your championship pair. This is fresh oil. So. Okay, St. George, ready to get started? All right. I right, have a five seed. You just won Hammond a few days ago. On Munster, Indiana, put your hands together for Eugene McEwen. He is facing off against our 2011 USPC Masters Champion from Greater Iowa, Tom Hess. starts off good. Eugene had our only 300 game of the week this uh, this tournament uh, in the qualifying round one. I think we actually have the 10th frame of that on our YouTube channel so check that out. Pretty good scoring pace this week to make the uh, make the top 16 of match play. It actually took 224.13. Parker Bone the third paced everybody in qualifying at 254.75. That's a lot of striking, folks. out with a double.
another strike. Winner of this match will take on Larry Verbal of Mason, Michigan. In the second spot this week is John Marcella from St. Louis, Missouri, and the top seed is Parker Bowen III from Jackson, New Jersey. Messenger there for Eugene. Looks like Eugene's throwing a C4 ordinance from Global 900. Tom's also throwing a Global 900 ball. He's throwing a Zen.
And Tom stays clean. Unfortunately, that's not going to do it. The scores being the way they are. So you better figure out the strike line pretty fast or it's going to be over. Eugene says he forgot where he's standing, and Tom Hess says it doesn't matter.
bowled a good game. Stayed clean when he had to, got lined up and finished with a six-bagger, but it's just not going to be enough against McHugh. He's going to throw a test shot with a different ball. <laughs> Pretty solid 279 for Eugene McCune. Next up will be Larry Verbal. Eugene McCune. He defeats Tom Hess 279 to 244. Finishing in fifth place. Mr. Tom S. Let's have a nice round of applause for Tom and Barry Gray all weekend. Using the number one, the base. So Larry will have up to eight practice shots. Eugene will turn on lane 20 if you want to stay loose. Gina and Tom have both been on our show this year. This will be our first look at Larry Verbal. down the rest of the top 16 that made match play. Finishing sixth and 25 out of the show was Michael Haggett. Seventh was Russ Hunt, Bob Kramer Jr., Jason Couch, Christopher Keen, Lyle Coleman, Brian Kretzer in 12th, Eddie Graham, Mike Diaz, Peter Senf, and Don Drea from Portage, Indiana.
can pick up where he left off. It's like he's going to stay with the C4 ordinance. That's a tough way to start. Looks like he's stuck at the line a little bit. Same one. Just looked like he opened the lane up and hooked it a little more.
Another great shot from Eugene. The nine pin was the last one to leave the deck. Keep an eye on this one, folks. Eugene can throw it about as hard as anyone on tour. You just never know. That in a bit. All right. from Larry. He had a good chance there to put some separation between himself and the few. Didn't make the best shot of the match for sure.
the situation. If they both strike out, Larry wins by one. Larry to strike out, win the match. Anything less than a strikeout, and Eugene can step up in the tenth and win. going to do it. You, yeah. yeah, Larry is correct. That'll earn him a fourth place check. But. Gene will move on, but he's got two more matches ahead if he's going to win this, and they're both against lefties. Larry Verbal, have a nice round of applause. Parker, you get four shots, and then John will get eight. So your tournament leader, Parker Bowen, gets four practice shots on the, uh, on the pair before the next match. Got a great crowd here today. St. Joe, Michigan certainly came out in support of this, and I know you can't see him on TV, but this is one of the best crowds we've had this year for the regional event. I think that's just, I think that's just, no. 
it's not for town. Hey, we're here with fourth place finisher Larry Verbal. Great tournament for you. Thank you. Fourth is always good. You threw the ball well. A couple bad breaks got you. I missed the move. Um, the lanes broke down a little bit. I missed the move uh, in the uh, eighth frame. And Eugene threw it great, so no complaints there. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You Thank you. Heading on to? I'm going up to Spectrum in Wyoming. Okay. I'll bowl that and then uh, go over to Bowling Green, bowl that regional, and then take a few days off, then bowl Jack 60. Wow. Busy guy. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're getting ready to start. Okay, we're moving on to our semifinal match. Number five seed, Eugene McKeown will face our number two seed, a two-time PB50 national champion from St. Louis, John Marcella.
Oh, good break to start for Eugene. John Marcella seems to have lost his thumb hole. The interchangeable thumbs are really nice, but every now and then you'll have a failure and lose one, and it sounds like what's happened here. They're trying to find it back in the back, but it looks like he's got a backup he may be able to use, but. He doesn't look happy about it. Well, this is a first. I'm not sure how long they'll continue to look for it before he'll have to move on with something else. Hey guys. 
cancel the girl thing. Don't worry about it. Cancel. Yeah, don't worry about it. Back to playing again. <clears throat> Looks like the change in thumb hole didn't affect John's spare shot much. Hopefully it doesn't affect his strike ball either. Looks like John Marcello is throwing a UFO alert from Rotogrip. It's the very slow messenger.
doesn't get the messenger this time. Seven pin keeps Eugene in the match. see a ball change on the left lane here. Then he's going to stick with the C4. sets him up for a possible 239. John Marcella can shut him out, but he'll need to strike here in the ninth. John Marcella does, he can't shut out Eugene now.
Oh my goodness. crazy finish this is going to be. Eugene's got to pick this up. He's got to pick this up to win. In fact, he's got a spare strike just to tie. That was one of the stranger finishes you will see to a match out here. Well, next up we got the and battle of the lefties. He defeats Eugene McEwen, 215 to 201. Finishing in third place, how about a nice round of applause for Eugene McEwen.
Parker has been pretty much dominant through this tournament. He started the tournament with a 279 and never looked back. I'm pretty sure he led every single game in every round. John did, however, beat him in the position round of match play. It didn't change who was in first, but it, uh, John certainly is capable. Um, if he can get the seven pin to pop, he can certainly give Parker a run for his money. to ranch number two, John Marcellus, facing off against our tournament leader, the PBA and USBC Hall of Famer, Parker Bone the third. <laughs> Don't forget we will have our awards presentation immediately following that match to crown our 2021 champion. Parker has lane choice, John will lead off. St. Joe's, how about one last Round of applause for our final two competitors of the 2021 PBA. <laughs> well, we know these guys are going to hit the pocket. It's just a matter of who can carry the corner pins. start for John. He's got to feel a little bit like he's playing on house money at this point after missing the 10 pin in the semifinal match and then having Eugene come back and splitting in the 10th to give it back to him. Very good break for <laughs> John.
almost another great break for John, but leaves the 10 pin. Looks like Parker's throwing a Legion Pearl from track. Gene McEwen, that's certainly not the way you wanted to end it, but uh, no, tell us nice about Nice little streak going. I'll just grind out, and I hit a couple pairs that I actually got some strikes on. I actually moved back right where I didn't think I could play there, and I shot a big game. Then I go to the next pair and strike just the same for 2-team. But somehow I snuck in. And this pair was one of the pairs that I shot 240 in the tournament, and the ball didn't bounce at all in this pair and then the last shot the ball bounced out of nowhere i don't know if it was i did something off my hand or what but it just bounced dead right so it could have been human error or the line i don't know Good it could have went week. fence though <laughs> you didn't have to leave <laughs> that but i hate to lose winning i understand but, well good luck in uh, wyoming michigan thanks, thanks buddy it's eugene McCune finishing third today is putting on a good show today. They're going to have to rename this pattern the Parker Bone 42 instead of the Mark Roth.
John's not going away just yet. I don't think it's going to affect the outcome, but that wasn't a very good break for John. That didn't look like that bad a hit. <laughs> 
Parker saying that's the first single pin he's missed this week. He did it at a good time. going to miss two in a row. <laughs> Leading from wire to wire, there's your champion, Parker Bowman. Bear shooting in the tenth. John Marcella covers the baby split.
When you look at some of the amenities we have between the fruit, the snacks, the water that's out here for all the players, and we're not getting any younger folks, that's for sure. <laughs> and we can't thank you and all of your staff from the bottom of our heart for making this all possible. For all the fans that are out there, your support all weekend long from the Pro-Am, uh, through showing up obviously Saturday and Sunday. We know that it's beautiful outside, but in our hearts, it's better in here. So thanks a lot for coming out for the Bowling Center, for the tournament and everything that's behind it. But more importantly, we will certainly see you next year, right? Yes, sir. That's the deal. Love it. All right, congratulations, Parker. And this was for my uh, ex-wife, or not ex-wife, but this is for uh, Ruth Groberg. So uh, thanks for everybody coming out. And uh, great ball, Parker. You led from wire to wire. And my staff did an awesome job. I've got a lot of compliments. So I really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, Bobby does an incredible job every tournament. I really appreciate you. And all you guys came out, it was awesome. Thank you. And we'll definitely be back next year with more money. One more thing, John. Outstanding ball this weekend, buddy. Thank you. I mean, after my heart. It, everybody out there that has the interchangeable thumbs, we know that occasionally you run into a little trick. And, he made a little trick or a, a small issue turned out to turn around in his favor there, and unfortunately, he pulled it out from my hand. But, uh, John, I sincerely know that the way you've been bowling this year, you're going to be back in this winter circle very, very soon. So, congratulations to him as well. Well, on behalf of the PBA, I want to say thank you uh, to Billy and his entire staff. Um, the, the staff is so good here that makes my job much easier and it just makes things um, easier on the players as well. So I can't thank Bill and his staff enough. Thanks again for Parker to come and bowl our event. Um, I know you're a busy guy and uh, always appreciate it. Love you having here in Central. Um, looking forward to a bigger and better 2022 here in St. Joseph. Um, as soon as we find out the tour schedule for 2022, we will make plans to come on back. But until then, thanks again for coming out and all your support. Drive safely going home. And uh, here's to a bigger and better 2022. Thank you. Get a quick word here with the second place finisher, John Marcella. John, how big a deal was that thumb loss to you? Uh, it was quite a big deal. They, you know, they, we got them all different sizes for specific reasons, and that one was the one I used all week, and it just it just changed the feel a little bit. You got to work through it. I mean, we've all done it. We know that things like that happen, so we make the best of it. But it, it definitely was a big deal. Yeah. Well, Hank, good good job hanging in there, giving it your best shot. You got away with one there with uh, you <laughs> with Eugene and yeah, got to the final match. Yeah. So, congratulations on second place. Thank you, uh, appreciate it. Good luck up in Wyoming. Thank you. Here with champion Parker Bone. Parker, what a week. I mean, uh, we're going to have to rename this pattern the Parker Bone 42 instead of the Mark Roth. No, they don't have to do that, that's for sure. So, I've got the utmost respect for Mark Roth. Uh, you know, I know he's been going through some struggles in life, but he's one of the three reasons behind my parents that have been behind me. But he, he is definitely one of the three, Johnny Petraglia, Dave Davis, and Mark Roth that allowed me and gave me the, let's say, smarts to come out here and bowl and participate on a PBA tour. So I've got nothing but respect for him. Wow. What a great week for you. Uh, tell us what you were throwing this week. I saw you were throwing a track ball uh, it in was, the finals. The track legion was the, the main ball of choice all week. It seemed like it really mellowed out the lane. It looked like we had some friction to the left. Obviously, we had hold to the right. That's what created the scores that we had by the players all week. But uh, Or, let's say, vice versa if you're right-handed. But more importantly, I didn't want to go around the lane too much. And in practice session, I felt like the equipment I was using was forcing me in a little too deep going around a lane. And I went and got that track legion out of the car. 
and it goes through the front very, very clean, but it certainly picked up in the mid lane. Wow, did it go through the pins. Well, you certainly look fantastic. Uh, you're heading on to Wyoming, um, Michigan. As soon as you and me get done, right. I'm gone. And, uh, going I, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to slow you down. Same pattern. I'm thinking you're uh, looking like a favorite for it. Well, uh, Maybe, uh, you know, I'd like to think, but uh, at the same time, I've got nothing but respect for all the players that ball on the PBA Tour, or the Senior Tour for that matter, the PBA 50 Tour. And uh, they're not just going to lay over and say, here, Bone, go ahead, you take it. You're going to have to earn it. And for the same reasons that we had here, you know, you had five guys still standing tall here, and it could have fallen into anybody's hands along the way. Fortunately for me, I'm still standing tall holding the check and trophy. So right. well, we'll take the confidence and move on. Very good. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you very much. Thanks. Parker Bone, your champion here in St. Joseph, Michigan. Folks, that's the end of our broadcast for today. We thank you for joining us, and we will be back next week in Bowling Green, Ohio. Look forward to seeing you then. Looks like the lane maintenance crew is going after that thumb hole that John Marcello lost, so good luck to them. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>